was a cheerful announcement, one that most fans saw coming as another NFL player retires. That story is going to top today's trending stories. Here's a look at our hot topics brought to you by Walton Art Center. After 13 seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles, Jason Kelsey calling it a career. An emotional day for the one-time sixth round draft pick out of University of Cincinnati. Kelsey earned seven Pro Bowl selections and was named first team All-Pro six times. He was also part of that Eagles team that won the franchise's first and only Super Bowl, beating the Patriots in Super Bowl 52. So, man, the, the Kelsey family has obviously been topping the headlines for many reasons recently. And fans kind of predicted this at the mm -hmm. end of the season. But still, I know it's emotional for something that you've done for your whole life uh, to kind of, you know, that time to come to an end. Yes, and I will say, I didn't realize what a great player that he has been yeah. over his career. Um, so happy retirement. If you want to come out, you can do that. Know that that's not frowned upon. That's right. You can pull a Tom Brady anytime you want, Jason. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> live it up, though. If you're going to retire, live it up, I yeah. say. Well, get your phones ready because the next time you head to Yankee Stadium, you definitely need this because a new study has named Yankee Stadium as the most Instagram sports arena uh, in the U.S. Wow, rate. Every sports stadium in America based on the number of Instagram posts um, and the hashtags. So they're looking at okay. hashtags and then how many times that a stadium was tagged. Dodger Stadium, that came in second. Flushing City Field uh, Stadium came in sixth place. Uh, Yankee Stadium took the top spot with more than 658,000 posts. I have yet to go there. It's on my, it's on my list. Definitely do want to go see that one. Um, my uh, Yes, and, and also out on the West Coast, go to Dodger Stadium as well. Beautiful places, obviously. You can I see it in the photos. I'm trying to think back. I think I've only been to one professional baseball stadium, White Sox. Okay. Uh, but it's been forever. Like, that was when I was a kiddo. Mm -hmm. So I, I have not made my rounds to, to baseball fields. Yeah. No, they're fun. We, we take the whole family when we go. So we've been to several that are close to mm -hmm. us here, but would love to expand kind yeah, of that footprint yeah. as well. Hey, Justin Bieber recently celebrated, I cannot believe, 30 years. 30th birthday <laughs> happened on March 1st. So Madame Tussauds Hollywood marked the milestone by unveiling a new wax figure of the pop icon. Bieber's latest wax figure replica is styled after his latest hit music video, Peaches. The figure is dressed in a replica puffer jacket and outfit reminiscent of that viral video. Other celebs who share a birthday with Biebs include rock legend Roger Daltrey of The Who, actor director... Yes, hit that post, yeah, Justin. Look at him, yes. <laughs> actor director Ron Howard, Javier Bardem as well, who I just saw as Stilgar in Dune. I'm going to bring up Dune every day this week somehow. Okay. This is how I worked it in today. And actor Lupita Nyong'o uh, as well. They all share a birthday. But man, cool. He's uh, another wax figure of the Biebs out there. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I love these stories. Uh, police in Wisconsin were called to a home to take care of an unwanted guest, a 450-pound pig who goes by the name Kevin, Kevin Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> he wandered away from his home, which was a mile away. The homeowner, along with the police officers, lured Kevin Bacon home with Oreos mm -hmm. and other treats to get him moving. It took two and a half hours before the pig was safely back in his pen. I love that its name is Kevin Bacon. Oh, 100 percent. I know. <laughs> Six degrees of Kevin Bacon or whatever that is. Also, it's nice to know that we both enjoy Oreos. That's what I was going to say. If you want to get me back home, just leave a trail of Same. Oreos. I will find Same. it. Same. I will find it. Way to go, Kevin Bacon. Well, new posters have been unveiled showcasing vibrant colors and striking landmarks for the Paris Olympic Games in an Art Deco style inspired by the city's past. The Summer 2024 Games marked the centenary, centenary, how do you say that? Centenary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. centenary of the 1924 Games. It also happened in Paris. Yeah. 100 years is what that means. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower, uh, French, Napoleon, French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte's tomb, and the Chateau Versailles, whose resplendent gardens will host equestrian and pentathlon events, are among the notable places seen on the posters. It took six months to decide which colors to use, and the artist spent more than 2,000 hours mm -hmm. working on these posters. Very, very pretty, very vibrant. Yes. The countdown to the Olympics is on, like, for real, wait. for real. I can't wait. The